Well, things might be really tough for Huawei right now. We don't really know what's going on with the global launch and release of the Huawei P40 series. But one thing is for sure, Huawei are not backing away from the upgrades in the hardware going into these phones. They seem to be making another ridiculous camera monster yet again. This is on news that the Huawei P40 Pro will have without a doubt the world's largest pixels ever found in a smartphone camera. So we've known for a while that Huawei will be upgrading and using a brand new camera sensor in their flagship phones. Improvements will obviously be made. We know from previous leaks that the amount of megapixels is going up from 40 in the old model, now to around 52 megapixels. But Huawei are also making this image sensor larger, rumored to come around one over 1.33 inches in size. And coincidentally, that's the same size as we find in the new 108 megapixel image sensor found in the Galaxy S20 Ultra. These image sensors are absolutely massive and definitely a big next step for camera imagery in general. On the Galaxy S20 Ultra, Samsung put 108 megapixels on to that image sensor. They also use a nine to one pixel binning ratio to output 12 megapixel images in the standard camera mode. When using the standard camera mode, those pixel sizes measure 2.4 microns, some of the biggest pixel sizes we've ever seen in smartphones. But there's always a balance to be made on image sensors between higher resolution and smaller pixels, or bigger pixels and a lower resolution. So Huawei think they have it right with their 52 megapixel image sensor coming in around the same size as Samsung's. But something crazy that Huawei are doing that we've never ever seen before is, according to leaks anyway, using an incredible and almost ridiculous 16 to one pixel binning ratio. This will give us the biggest pixels we've ever seen on a smartphone, measuring 4.48 microns in size, which is more than double the size of the pixels on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Of course, the image resolution would reduce considerably in this mode. So here's how I think they're gonna use it. Huawei are still going to use the RYYB pixel layout that they've used for a long time to give us better low light shots. But they will also use this brand new 16 to one pixel binning ratio to give huge pixels with a lower resolution to absorb as much light as possible in low light conditions. The exact way that Huawei are going to use this 16 to one pixel binning has not been leaked, but we can assume with a high degree of certainty that it will be used for low light photography. When taking low light shots, they may use a couple of images with that specific pixel binning and big pixel sizes to complement other exposures made by the camera at higher resolutions, put them together to give us the best night modes that we've ever seen. So yeah, some really cool hardware innovations from Huawei if they're actually doing this. We still don't know exactly how they're going to use this to give us better results in photography, but I'm definitely excited to see what they can do with that new hardware if it's true to give us the best results. Also detailed in the leak is a use of a 40 megapixel image sensor under the ultra wide camera. Huawei have turned to using the ultra wide for video, so they may be doing that too in the P40 Pro. A time of flight sensor too, and a 3X optical zoom camera. And yes, another reference to a 10X periscope zoom camera. It has been suggested this might go into a P40 Pro premium edition, and the Pro still using a 5X periscope zoom. We'll learn more about which hardware is going into which phones as we get closer to the launch. But with what's happening with Huawei right now and in China in general, this very well could be another mainland China only launch for the P40 series. We'll have to wait and see. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.